Good morning and welcome to day 13 of Vlogtober here on the planet that we call Earth. I'm standing in a cupboard this morning. It is Tuesday and I was going to podcast today and I've decided not to because I was getting really, really overwhelmed with the bits that I had to do to prepare for it. So I'm just going to give myself some more time. I'm going to take today to get myself a bit more organised. I feel like my mind is all over the place at the moment and I need to get some stuff out of the way in order to feel a bit calmer. So I'm going to do some of those things and make sure I'm fully prepared for filming a proper podcast. And I can then do that either on Thursday or over the weekend. So it'll be a bit later than normal, but um, I think that's just how it has to be at the moment. Otherwise, I think I might go a bit stir crazy. Anyway, why am I standing in a cupboard? Well, I am going to try and finish my advent swap with my friend today. And as part of that this year, we're going to include some fabric. Well, I'm going to include some fabric. So I'm just about to dive into my fabric stash, which is here <laughs> in the top of this wardrobe. Now, I've said before, I don't have any particular crafting space or craft room. I do hope to in the future have a craft shed. Until that point, I have to integrate the stuff that I have for crafting in amongst other places in our very small house. So this is a wardrobe. It's a double wardrobe. It's very big. We've got Phoebe's uniform hangs up here. And then underneath all of this is my clothes. Now, my clothes only take up about the same space as Phoebe's uniform, half a, half a rail, because I, I just don't have that many clothes. And then the other half of the bottom half is shoes and other bits and bobs. And then the, the top half of this bit is fabric. And this is an old kitchen cupboard that we actually took out of the cupboard a while ago. And I've put it in the uh, wardrobe and it's perfect for storing all crafty things. Now it looks a mess because it is a mess. <laughs> I do sort it out from time to time, but um, I know where everything is. And actually my, all the fabric is quite neat and tidy. And I've got like actual sewing stuff. So my sewing machine lives in the kitchen, but all the paraphernalia for getting it to work lives up here. It'd be lovely to have a dedicated space where everything could just stay out. Um, and as in all my wardrobes, I've always got little bits stuck inside the doors. So you don't see them um, when they're closed, but when you open them, um, it's like a teenager's bedroom with posters and <laughs> photographs. So on the other side, I'll show you. On the other side I've got, um, this is a photo of Dan and I on my one year after my operation to remove my bowel. Um, to celebrate my recovery, we climbed the O2 in London. This is a photo mont. Oh, this is hard to do backwards. This is a photo montage of our holiday in Denmark, which is one of the best holidays we've ever had in our entire lives. It was wonderful. And this is just a few cards that Dan's bought me over the years. That I stick up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dive into my fabric stash and pull out some fabric to cut up for my swap, and then I'm hoping to get that all parcelled up, ready to send later in the week. My wristwatch is broken, my shoes are untied, time is a ticking, and so is the tide, but I am not worrying, things are what they are, come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, I've been to the north, east and the west, in the middle of course. I may have been astray, but I've never been lost, I've never been beat by the road I've crossed. I guess I've been lucky. To some degree For someone who ate All the fruit from the tree the stars been aligned And my goons hanging high I'll be okay In the sweet by and by I was born at morning On the first day Right, it's about quarter past 12. 
feels later than that and I've just had a sandwich because I was starving. I've been busy about all morning. I had to cut out some fabric to include with my little advent swap that I'm doing. And as I had the fabric out, I cut some uh, squares to make some lavender pouches, which I've never done before. Um, and I can't show you them because I've put them all into little parcels and one of them is made with fabric that I'm sending and that would ruin the surprise. But I made little um, lavender sachets and then cut the edges with pinking shears because I've got quite a few of them which come in different parcels or that people have given to me as gifts and I absolutely love them I put them everywhere so I thought I'd have a bash at making them and that went really well and now the kitchen smells lovely I also made myself a little Halloween mask now I, I just marvel at people that I watch like Rachel of So Ray Me or Julie of um so you need, I've just noticed there's a little thread, that's why I'm looking about to see if there's scissors, but there isn't, so I'll get it later. And they just sit down, and they go, oh, I'm going to make a bag, and then they make the bag, and it's done. Whereas I go, oh, I'm going to make a mask, and then something goes wrong with the sewing machine, and then I decide I have to re-thread it, and then something goes wrong with that, and then the thread breaks, and then I realise I've sewn something wrong, and then I realise I haven't caught a seam, and <laughs> it just goes on and on. It takes me forever. With this one, I think I cut the fabric a bit too big. I'm not sure how. So I had to unpick it and I've just made the pleats a bit tighter. So this is the finished thing. This fabric I bought in Rochester a couple of Halloweens ago with Phoebe. We went on a little halloween -y day out and I've been saving it. I've got quite a lot left. I want to make a little bag or something for her. Maybe a little hairband or something. She loves a hairband. Um, but yes, I wanted to make a little Halloween mask. So it fits a lot better now, I've tightened it up. This is just a simple Halloween face mask um, made with the free tutorial, I'll take this off to talk to you, the free tutorial by Melanie Ham. Um, and it, uh, this is my favorite one to wear. I find it the most comfortable, most easy to talk with. I made the elastic slightly longer because I've noticed in my other ones where I've washed them so much, they, they've obviously shrunk slightly and I notice they do pull on my ears a bit more. So it, now it feels quite loose, but I think that will tighten up quite a bit. So yeah, really cute little spooky Halloween fabric. <laughs> I'm going to wear that tomorrow at work. And now I'm going to open a box of Cadbury's Heroes, and I'm probably going to have one or two, but I'm also going to be popping them in with my advent, and I'm going to start wrapping it all up and getting it done so I can post it out. Very exciting. I meant to say as well, I changed my watch strap this morning. Uh, so usually I have one that's kind of pink and blue and spotty, but I bought this one at the same time. Um, and they're just from eBay, they're just cheap and cheerful from eBay. And this is a nice luminous green one, which I thought was quite fitting for the time of year, a bit Halloween-y. What do you think? Spooky, creepy. <laughs> we were talking about what we do in the shadows yesterday. It's a creepy watch. Creepy. Shut up. Stars been aligned and my goose hanging high. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I honestly don't know where the hours go. It's about time to go and pick Phoebe up again. I've managed to get my swap finished my advent swap so I just need to parcel that up now so that's a real sense of accomplishment I've got one other parcel to finish off so I'm hoping to get that done before the end of this week as well I've had um, something I ordered arrive in the post I ordered some lights that I'm hoping are going to go along my mantelpiece so I'm just going to plug those in and see if I can have a play with those before going pick Phoebe up otherwise I'll have to do it when I get back it is pouring with rain but we're going to plough on with the school run anyway, we're just going to take some umbrellas. <laughs> to 
I can see. I left them all. We're home from the school run. It is so wet out there. Got my Waru shawl on to keep me warm. This is my new Waru, Waru shawl. I might wear my old or the original Waru tomorrow. Right, I've got to go and sort out Phoebe's lunchbox, clear up, clear away all the wet stuff, start thinking about packing my work bag for tomorrow. Lily will be home shortly. Oh, and then I want to finish sorting out those lights. most favourite thing I've ever made but I shall add it to the festive no the Halloweeny display and then go and get on with dinner this is a momentous moment because the girls are going to trampolining for the first time since mid-march how are you feeling, gymnasts? Excited. You're you're pretty excited, aren't you, then, Phoebe? Phoebe's just feeling tired. Right. Well, enjoy it. Different venue, different time, different duration, and I'll have dinner ready for you all when you get home. Right. It is now. Half five, Dan's taken the girls off to trampolining, which is something I haven't said in a long time. Uh, so I really hope they're going to enjoy that. And I'm just making a start on dinner. We're going to have just a supermarket uh, sauce curry tonight, uh, just a Sharwood's Korma, which in all honesty, I don't really like. But at the moment, I really struggle with food because um, I don't like anything. There's nothing I fancy, nothing I get excited about. I'm just bored of food. I'll happily snack and eat rubbish and biscuits with cups of tea and stuff. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't get excited about food. I'm so bored. I think the months and months, I'm sure you, many of you probably feel the same. Months and months of just cooking every single meal and I don't know, I just feel I'm running out of ideas and I'm bored with the things that we eat on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jazz that sauce up a bit and just make it up as I go along. Instead of rice, I'm going to do potatoes, which I'm going to cut up quite small, just peeling them now, and sort of cover them in all kinds of lovely spices like garam masala and stuff like that and cook them and we'll have like little chunks of sort of curried potatoes. And I'm going to do, so I've got some green beans left. So I have turned to my most used cookbook of all time. Out of all of the cookbooks I have, this is the one I have used the most. I don't know if you can see there. It is Mada Jaffrey's The Curry Bible. Is it The Curry Bible? Ultimate Curry Bible, sorry. Can't miss out the ultimate. I've had this for years. It is full of bookmarks, full of notes. It is battered it is covered in food <laughs> uh, i use it all the time so she's got a recipe in here for stir fried south indian green beans i don't have all of the um ingredients but i've got most of them so and they're all nice ingredients so even if i haven't got all of them it's still going to taste nice so i'm going to do that so we've got something else and dan even bought some samosas which i don't like but the girls love them so 
I think it'd be quite a nice little meal tonight. And then everyone can have showers and get ready into dramas. We'll have a bit of a chilled out evening. I'm hoping to finish this vlog, get it edited early doors so that I can then just chill out this evening and do a bit of knitting or crocheting. I really want to start um, reworking my Halloween, spooky park Halloween mittens by Hannah of Sheep Sally. But I just feel like I need to concentrate too much to do that in the evening. We shall see. Right, I'm gonna press on with this. I will see you tomorrow for Wednesday. I just remembered, and sorry if you can hear a whirring noise, that is the dishwasher, but I didn't say what today's song of the day is. And today we're going with the song that I've had an earworm for all day. If I have to suffer it, so do you. Except you've probably never heard it before unless you like Hamilton, because we're going with another Hamilton one. It is Dear Theodosia, and it is by the people I'm putting on the screen now. <laughs> it is Lin-Manuel Miranda and the guy that plays Burr, Aaron Burr. And I just love the words. I really like this song. And when I woke up this morning, for some reason, it was in my head. So that is the song for the day. It is on the Spotify playlist, which is linked underneath. Enjoy. Shine on. 